a great-niece of Queen Victoria through her half-sister Theodora, her grandmother. Augusta Victoria was born at Dolzig Castle as the eldest child of Frederick, the future Duke of Schleswig-Holstein-Sonderburg-Augustenburg, and Princess Adelheid of Hohenlo-Langenburg. The family then relocated to the estate her father had inherited, Castle Primkenau. Princess Elizabeth Ella of Hesse and by Rhine, Wilhelm's first cousin and the daughter of his mother's own sister, turned down his prior marriage proposal. He did not take it well and vowed to wed a different princess right away. Initially, Wilhelm's family opposed his union with Augusta Victoria, whose father was not even a sovereign. Wilhelm and Augusta Victoria of Schleswig-Holstein, also known as Dona, got engaged in 1880. They wed on February 27, 1881, and were united in marriage for 40 years, up until her passing in 1921. Wilhelm had seven children, six sons and a daughter over the course of 10 years, from 1882 to 1892. The infant son of the German imperial couple, Prince Joachim, was baptized in Berlin in 1891. The Emperor Franz Joseph of Austria was one of his godfathers, and Archduke Eugene represented him during the baptism. The brooch was said to be worth 40,000 gulden. Empress August Victoria is shown wearing a brooch that has the appearance of a bow tie, a trailer, a briolette, and two jaw trailers at the loop edges. After the passing of Empress August Victoria, the brooch's whereabouts are unknown. Such a ruby and diamond ribbon brooch was sold at auction by Christie's Geneva in April 1977. Princess August Victoria is seen wearing a diamond sunray necklace that was given by Crown Prince Wilhelm of Prussia and Crown Princess Victoria, Princess Royal of Great Britain, as a wedding gift. With the exception of a few smaller stones set in a jaw, each has a stunning solitaire that fills most of the diadem's width. These rays are joined by several larger brilliant that, like all the stones in the tiara, have the purest water and the most precise cuts. The diamond diadem of Empress August Victoria was made of 12 diamond-studded leaf branches, each made of three elongated leaves that form an ornament. The leaves resemble tendril leaves with diamond-studded berries. Between each branch were five drop-shaped large pearls or free-swinging gemstone drops that could be hung, and on top of each drop were larger diamonds. They are typically worn by the Empress with aquamarines. The diadem, which was expertly crafted in the Hanor workshop of Dubrecreuter was given to the court jeweler Cohon December 13, 1909. Most likely as a Christmas present from Kaiser Wilhelm II. Empress August Victoria is wearing a pair of Queen Louise's aquamarine and diamond stud earrings. A 13-row pearl choker with diamond bars near to the fashion's neck is also visible. A matching diamond necklace of leaf sprig ornaments with aquamarines and aquamarine pendants is also seen, as is a big bow brooch with three faceted aquamarine pendants. After the Empress's passing, the diadem was no longer visible in public. The emperor visited the Sultan Abdul Hamid and went on a well-regarded voyage to the Orient in 1898. He also gifted the empress a brooch at the latter's court. They mixed two huge diamond clasps with pendants and pearls to create what they refer to as a modest brooch. Dot, the three bows with diamond drops and pendants, as well as the diamond necklace. It might be worn in different ways, including as a necklace, a choker that hangs close to the neck, 
and a Devante de corsage, which looks like a large brooch that is attached to the costume. Kaiser Wilhelm II ordered the Prussian clover coronet from Koch in 1906 as a silver anniversary gift for Empress Augusta Victoria, who wore it for official occasions and formal pictures, including her Laszlo painting. The coronet, in contrast to many of her other jewels, has a known fate following the end of the monarchy in 1918. After the Empress died, the Prussian clover coronet was next seen on Princess Kira of Prussia, born Grand Duchess Kira Kirilovna of Russia, who was married to Prince Louis Ferdinand the Kaiser's grandson and successor. The Empress had taken the coronet with her to exile in the Netherlands. At many occasions, including the 1956 pre-wedding ball of Archduke Ferdinand of Austria and Countess Helen zu Turing Jettenbach, Princess Kira was notable for donning the original form of the coronet. Parts of the coronet may be used in two distinct tiaras, one of which Princess Kira wore as well. The clover coronet has been widely displayed in recent years, however the present Princess of Prussia has not yet donned it. The emerald laurel wreath tiara was made in 1905 as a silver anniversary gift from Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany to his consort, Empress Augusta Victoria. It is a graduated bandeau of diamond laurel leaves set with 13 cabochon emeralds. Empress Augusta Victoria wore the piece as a tight cluster nestled in her massive hedu. When Princess Victoria Louise of Prussia married Prince Ernst August of Hanover, the Duke of Brunswick, in 1913, the Empress gave her the tiara as one of a number of wedding gifts. In a photograph taken in the 1920s of Princess Victoria Louise with her youngest son, Prince Welf Henry, she was wearing the emerald laurel wreath tiara in bandeau style as the Duchess of Brunswick. The second son of Princess Victoria Louise of Prussia, Prince George William of Hanover, married Princess Sophie of Greece and Hesse in 1946. Throughout the 1940s, 1950s, and 1960s, Princess Sophie frequently wore the emerald laurel wreath tiara to royal occasions. The emerald laurel wreath tiara did, however, reappear at auction in the 1990s when it was purchased by Baron von Thyssenborn-Emissa for his daughter, Baroness Francesca, and still owns the tiara.